it goes Banana and Delar. Banana should have a pretty good lane so far for the most part yeah. until that level four is available. There you are, Kim. So yeah, nothing, yeah. you didn't miss too much. Oh yeah, definitely. It's a minute in, no first blood. Kind of expected to see this from, of course, RQ and Burmese. They want to be a little bit more careful. Kind of going in for a, a lot of these early game pokes first. Uh, I like this XP lane choice from uh, RQ. They decided to go with this, especially since this can kind of like put Dilara back. Like we've seen this in some games of the Burmese schools that, uh, you know, Dilara had a very early wave clear, so he was able to reach level four much faster than the opponent, which kind of really enables Burmese schools to kind of take in these uh, early turtles. But so far, it's RRQ. Irad actually started up one fourth HP already for the turtle. Yep, they go in, heavy spin already used. Turtle for the taking, Irad gonna be able to get it. They get the stun off as well. Not sure if they still wanna be going for it though. They're gonna fight it out and they back off, they disengage. Good thing too, once again, they have that nether realm, of, uh, nether realm available from Nico. Yeah, that was a very good zoning as well from RQ. Like you see Banana, not only did he, was he able to clear lanes pretty fast, he was also able to zone out Saxa there so he can you know, pu push forward and try to go for that heavy spin and just click that retribution and steal that Lord. But overall for RQ, right, like so far their lanes are pretty much contained. Like you see how Delar was super aggressive too when it came to like the turtle take, he went in and tried to go in for that level four so he can pop in that black dragon and be able to kind of, you know, kind of mess up uh, RRQ's, uh, RRQ's turtle take there. But so far RQ has been successful, no first blood yet, Three minutes in already in the game. Yeah, which is interesting, right? Because we're talking about the uh, aggression from both of these teams, but mm -hmm. and that's a that's not we'll going to go. find the uh, connection they're looking for. But hold on, still mm -hmm. pressure. Oh, what a, a huge! I'm offended into the heavy spin, able to get the lockdown. Irad going to be the one to go down. First blood going to the hands of Burmese ghouls. What a set there from Blink, utilizing the flicker combination with the I'm offended. Still going to be up here on the top side, but they should be fine for now. What a play! Yeah, just when we were talking about no first blood, kind of called it there. Uh, nice tuck in there. Flicker was available for Blink, and he was able to do that. And now Banana Ooh. in trouble. Ooh, this is what I was talking about, though. One for one trade off onto the bottom side. And you see kind of like the aggression of Dilar, right? Going right into the turret to make sure that he gets the pick off. But again, kind of nullified since uh, it was like a one for one trade. Here in the middle side, though, Burmese Ghouls. Burmese Ghouls setting things up but not be able to get anything. Burby School so far, they got that nice first blood. They got it in two pickoffs, but it's still RQ Hoshi leading, all because of the turtle takes that they've been taking. And not to mention, look at Skylar there over on the top side, actually forcing um, Stitch to actually go to the, to the XP lane instead. Yeah. It's a good choice. I mean, a lot of these rotations happening here are um, very smart on both sides, you know, for the most part. In early game, not anything too crazy happening. You see Blink, if he continues to do that every time the flicker is available to him, is really going to pay off, right, for his goals. That's kind of what they have to do. But Bruce going down on the other side, a well time and Noe Fury is going to help them out. Not only that, but they have the extra CC available to them with Irad's yeah. kit. Dragon form gonna come down, still be working for this turtle. Second one, Sox able to secure it. Gets a lockdown now on Irad. He's kind of stuck between the wall. He'll get taken out by Delar. And there's nothing RQ could do there. So objective and a kill for Burmese Ghouls. I like how Burmese Ghouls also kind of like knew that the uh... Brusco there did not have that flicker, so they were so confident in uh, trying to take down this turtle to the point that the uh, RQ was just like trying to find the proper setup there. We kind of see the attempts there from Irad trying to go in for the, the Violet Requiem and the Spatial Migration, but you know, it kind of backfired here onto to RRQ, and now so far, oh. uh, Burmese schools, they've done a Brusco. good job of equalizing things out. Brusco, though. Goes in, yeah, jumps in, but look at that. Again, the sustainability is kind of uh, the, the way, of course, Netherrealm works, the, it buys you a little more time, and they're going to be just fine. Yeah, I'm worried about the, for, for the side of Burby schools, though. They have to check Skylar as of the moment. He's gotten all the gold plating over on the top side. Not to mention that he's been pushing the lanes pretty fast. You, you did mention that this Bruno is a turret shredder, and so far he's been taking this turret now almost to one port HP. Should, they should be able to take this. Great map control here for, for RRQ. Great space that they've made, especially since uh, they still need to take in the last turtle and possibly the next Lord uh, coming into this game. But so far, gold lead, you don't see anyone leading as of the moment because everybody is so... It's, it's kind of a little bit careful when it comes to all these engages, right? Like, once you engage, you don't have that right follow-up. It, it might actually just uh, be a double-edged sword for your team. 
Yeah, I think that's, uh, again, you have to respect the fact that even with everything happening now, you know, the past couple of minutes, it's pretty much even economy wise, right? For the most part. And Skylar not going down, able to kind of just farm up here is is great for RQ. But even on the flip side, Burmese Ghoul is exactly Stitch having an early kill, able to work on his own here, will pay off later on, of course, as you scale up on this Claude pick. So right now, stalemates, third turtle of the game though, for the taking here. Both teams getting in position. Only Skylar down on the bottom side. So both teams want to go full force here. The yeah. difference maker could be that gold lane, having that available, you can already see in the mid lane, yeah. whittling down slowly, but Stitch gonna go down bottom. Team's gonna be finding it out four on four here for this third turtle. Taking it slow, turret goes down to the bottom side as both gold laners wait there. Turtle's gonna reset once again. Still looking for an angle here. Brusco there in the front lines. Mm -hmm. No one committing just flicker. yet. They're trying to feel this out, yeah. They have to. There's some pressure though in the mid lane. They gotta deal with it for now. RQ still in position. Right now, Burmese Ghouls just kind of letting them take control of this space. Blink not going to commit. There's a Dragon Form finally going for the initiation. Huge Ooh, stuff nice there one. from Brusco, though, with the Flicker, Minoy, and Fury. Now the new battle now. Still looking for a kill to fall here, though, as both gold laners trying to make it away. Delar will finally fall. Stitch now joining the fight. Irad taking a couple shots. He's uh, almost there, but another knockup yeah, comes through as Irad falls. It's a double for Stitch, though. But Skylar finally gets a kill as well. And now the mid lane turret goes down next. They find wins on both sides here, but RQ pulling out just a little bit ahead. Now Soxa, buff can be worked on, and he's deleted Ooh. by Banana, gets <laughs> whittled down quickly. And that is tough for them. Stitch now the answer here with Blink still. Banana gonna be able to get away from the I'm Offended. Wow, so much back and forth here, Kim. Yeah, we kind of expected this coming out. All out brawl from the side. Uh, Burmy School, big win though. There was a trade from RQ Hoshi on the middle lane, so that's uh, also pretty big for them to give that map control towards oh. their side. Right now, that is big because RQ Hoshi just finally got this first Lord of the Game, not the Luminous one, but this will actually give more pressure to Burmese schools. They've been winning all of these clashes, but they haven't been able to convert as much turret takes as compared to RQ Hoshi, who has been slowly taking it in care of Skylar. 101 on this Bruno, 7,600 gold for him. At least a thousand more than what Stitch has. But so far, you know, we can't count out Stitch just yet. This is a claw that you're talking about. He just picked up the Demon Hunter sword too. So that's going to be big for the side of Burmese schools when it comes to these clashes. That blazing duet that Stitch has to time up really well. He also has that Purify. So pretty much he's just going to go for the cleanup work here if Burmese schools decides to go in for the full engage. Okay, and with that, they got the Lord Orc in here. RQ now going to go ahead and get these turrets down, move around the map with the space that they garnered themselves. We'll be taking the resources as well on top of it. So Burmese Ghouls once again finding themselves in a troubling position. This round could slip out of their hands very quickly depending on how they deal with this push. It's going to come down once again if Blink can find a setup that he's going to be looking for on this ruby pick once again. He's kind of the big answer for them. Dolar also now at this point with Dragon Form has to be really careful on his positioning. Turret now in the mid lane, tier two gonna fall on the focus top side, tier three. And you can already see Skylar very confidently just kind of poking down what he can. Shield's already taken care of as well in the mid lane. But right now, Burmese Ghoul is holding it together on the defense. For Burmese Ghouls and RQ, what they both have in common right now is the timing of the ultimates. The Nether Realm here, the Blazing Duet, even for the side of RQ, the, the timing here of Brusco's uh, setup. He does have the flicker here. They want to go for the pressure here on the mid side. There's the tug oh. in by Blink. Able to get the pull here, but he's still going to be able to get, stay alive through it all. Nether Realm comes down too. Dragon Form there to cut him off a little bit. Delar though takes quite a few shots. No one goes down in the exchange. Big item picks up as well. The Flask of the Oasis now for Brusco. Sustainability gonna be there, and they're getting another turret as well. The oh, jump in yeah. from Irad finds the Requia. Now Banana also unleashing. Stitch able to get the kill, but it's Nico that falls. Two down for Burmese Ghouls and RQ. Looking to end game number one here. Working they on can... the crystal. Can Burmese Ghouls clear the waves, keep it together? They find a little bit of room to work with. Blink's the one to fall, but Skylar has so much damage on this Bruno, and that looks like it's gonna be it as RRQ takes game number one.